Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I always raise my eyebrows, it seems like, when I say that. <laughs> or I tilt my head yep. or something. It's like, I'm from Western New York. <laughs> it's just a natural kind of thing. Well, today I'm going to give you a little snippet videos of my silver fox and what goes on in her little box. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to put it in there, but it's going to be in there. And I hope you enjoy this little tiny video. This is why I have to keep looking under Silver Fox because the hens are laying eggs right on top of her in the same box. Like, really? Now look who's in Silver Fox's spot. And you, you got to go in your own spot. You can't sit there. You have no eggs. You are nasty. I tried to get an egg underneath you and you just try to bite me. You're not a very nice little bird there, little, little one. You're the, one of the small black ones. I don't know. And Silver Fox, you, ooh. Yeah, you're going to hit the camera, I'm sure. Do you see it? Look at you, you're, you're growling at me. <laughs> what about you? Will you growl at me too? Oh, get up. That's good. That's good. I got an egg. Okay. This egg goes. Oh, there's the one. Okay, Silver Fox, back on your nest. She's done. And she's back on her nest. Whew, I had to push her off the other nest to get her on her nest. Thank goodness she's on it. Now can you see why it's hard for me to get my eggs? I actually have to put a cap over top of Silver Fox's head to get the eggs. Or, like you saw, one of the hens got up. That one was snapping at me. It's like they're protecting those eggs. It's like, you can't take these eggs. These are silver fox's eggs. And she got gets up and I get the eggs. Now yesterday, there was three eggs under there and I got two of the eggs, but when I reached for the third one, man, she could have got me. She was really snapping, trying to bite me. And did you hear silver fox growl? They actually growl at you. They have such evil little eyes. They're small and beady, and when they're, uh, when they're happy, they have a whole different look. When they're serious, they have a really mean look, and probably like humans. Humans probably do, too. Um, you know, I wanted to tell you the story, and I forgot to tell you yesterday. If you stay long enough, you'll hear this story, but if not, if you're gone, goodbye to that person. Um, but anyways... I told this story before and it was about the bubble because everything in this world is gone topsy-turvy. It's like we're all afraid of something that you can't see. And the thing is, they I was watching a video today and it was talking about how they can test you today and you're negative, but test you tomorrow and you could be positive. So you'd have to be tested every single day to find out if you're negative or not. And those that are negative need to continue to be diligent in trying to stay negative by not thinking, oh, well, I'm okay, so I can do whatever I want. No, you have to continue. But the story that I wanted to tell was about the bubble and the kingdom of trouble. I think some of you have heard this story, and those of you that haven't, this is my little story. A long time ago, there was a kingdom, and in this kingdom, there was a king and while the king was outside, a bubble came floating into the kingdom. It came up over the big wall and it floated right down into the kingdom. And he called his javelin th throwers and he says, get rid of this. It's trouble, trouble. This thing is trouble. Get rid of it. So he told the javelin throwers to throw their javelins. They threw them and the javelins would bounce right off. So then he called his archers. He says, trouble. This is trouble. Get this trouble out of here. And so the archers drew back their bow and they, they 
their arrows went flying, but their arrows would hit the bubble and bounce right off. So then he called his hatchet throwers. He thought, sure, they've got to be able to do this. And so the hatchet throwers threw the hatchet, and the same thing happened. The trouble was just bouncing everything off of it. And just about that time, the daughter came riding in on her horse into the kingdom. And she says, Father, what is the commotion? He says, trouble, we've got trouble. You see this trouble in the middle of the kingdom? We need to get rid of this trouble. Well, she walked up to the, to the trouble that everybody was thinking was trouble, and it was really just a bubble. And she pinched it, she went, and the bubble popped. So that's what the media has done to us. It has made us like thinking it's trouble when really it's a bubble. So treat it like a bubble and you will stay safe. Treat it like trouble and you'll find the trouble that you're looking for. So that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed the story. Are you medical or is no, that your opinion? No, that's my opinion on this story. I, that's my interpretation. Oh gosh, he's always doing that to me. That's, <laughs> I know. Keep you safe. Gotta keep me safe. That's my interpretation of the bubble story. So if you look at things as trouble, it's going to be trouble. You look at things as a bubble and it'll be a bubble. So just take care of yourselves. Wash your hands like they say and you'll be safe. And stay away from crowds. Stay home. Mm -hmm. That's the best thing. Okay. That's it for today. Bye.